Welcome back to the channel. Like always, my name is Jose Naharo and I am a self-taught investor looking for investments to grow my long-term portfolio through fundamental analysis. And you should check out the merch down below. I am very excited about today's episode. Today we are going to take a look at seven cloud stocks right now we're going to do a quick analysis look at their price performance look at the future growth look at their gross margins and see if there's any right now that might be a hidden gem at the moment or ones that might need a little closer to look at and there's there out of the seven there's a few actually that are very very in my opinion heavily overpriced at the moment but there is one that i feel is looking really right right now um so i hope you guys enjoy the episode but before we start let's make sure to smash that like button it helps so much with the youtube algorithm and on the description and the pinned comment you should see a link to my discord channel which is free to anybody that wants to join and you should also see a link to Weeple if you sign up and deposit a hundred dollars there we both get a free stock i think they're doing a special right now where we might get two free stocks at the moment so like i mentioned today we're gonna take a look at seven companies and the first one we're gonna look at is crowdstrike this is ticker crwd right now after hours is sitting at 159 dollars and 11 cents when doing this video um, and it is up 12 percent after reporting earnings so crowdstrike pretty much i have it here is a cybersecurity technology company based in california it provides endpoint security threat intelligence, and cyber attack response services. So right now, year to date, the company has returned about 187%, not counting the returns after hours. So it's probably closer to 200% returns. So congratulations to all the everybody that's long. Right now, it has a market cap of about $34.9 billion after this 12% gain, and it is at its all-time highs right now. So it is looking pretty good. So let's take a quick look at CrowdStrike. So remember, this is ticker CW, CRWD, first thing, growth, ex exceptional growth, 26.7% on average annually for the next three to five years. This is a heavy growth. Another thing we're seeing is this company is already prof positive in cash flow from operations. So it makes money from its everyday activities. Next, earnings, unfortunately, is not profitable in gap earnings per share. So again we saw that positive cash flow from operations and we're also seeing that huge revenue growth and let me say this later on in this episode i'm also going to talk about their gross margins their price to sales valuations to see if any of them or any of them are any in, are interesting right now based on valuation the next company we're going to take a look at is plunk this is ticker SPLK. Right now, this one is down 16.47%, almost 17% after hours after reporting earnings. So Splunk Technology is a company that produces software for searching, monitoring, and analyzing, and analyzing machine-generated big data via a web-style interface. Year to date after this drop, the company has returned about 13% to investors. Um, so it's very, it's pretty much flatlined compared to pretty much the whole market right now. After hours, like I mentioned, it is down 16%. And the current market cap after this drop is about $27.75 billion. Next, let's take a look at its future growth. So future growth for SPL SPLK is 21.0% on average annually for the next three to five years. We can see its revenue growth is not is, is strong, super strong as well, but it's not as strong as CrowdStrike. Another thing we're seeing is Splunk right now is not profitable in cash. It's not positive from cash flow from operations, and it is not profitable, and it is not expected to be profitable anytime soon. The third company we're going to take a look at is Zscaler. This is ticker ZS. Right now, year to date, it has returned about 210% to investors, and after hours is about another 10% up. Which, all, which means year to date, it's closer to 240% returns to investors. So again, congratulations. Market cap after this gain is about $21.7 billion. And right now, it is sitting at its all-time highs for the year. So again, congratulations. Next, let's take a look at that growth. Growth for Cscaler is 20.3% on average for the next three to five years. One thing we're seeing is, again, super strong growth this one is positive in cash flow from operations but it's not expected to be profitable anytime soon 
The fourth company we're taking a look at is Okta ticker OKTA. This is a company that provides cloud software that helps company manage and secure user authentication into modern applications and for developers to build identity controls into applications, websites, web services, and devices. This one's pretty interesting. Right now, year to date, it has returned about 108% to investors and it is up a nice amount after hours about 5.8 percent after reporting earnings after hours is almost flat compared to its all-time high so there's not much of a pullback and the market cap is 31.2 billion dollars now let's take a look uh, uh, at the quick look at okta okta has a revenue growth of 23.2 percent on average annually for the next three to five years another hyper growth stock here it is positive in cash flow from operations, but it's not profitable soon and it's not expected to be profitable in gap earnings until 2024. Um, so again, uh, seeing positive cash flow from operations, seeing strong growth. The fifth company is this gonna be is gonna be Snow, Snowflake. Year to date, it's only up 11.2% 11 .2, 11 .2 from its first close. This is from its first close. I think from IPO price, it's up dramatically, right? I, I think the IPO price was $180, um, but from its first close, it's only up 11%. Right now, it has a market cap of 78.5 billion. It is down 3.5% after hours, after reporting earnings. Um, it's not it's not too far off from its all-time highs it's pretty much flat line and, and snowflake for those that don't know is a cloud-based data warehouse company let's take a look at the growth for snow so snow right now is expected to grow its revenue 45.2 percent on average annually for the next three to five years we can see this is the true growth stock compared to everything else this is a massive massive growth stock um, we can see right now it is not positive in cash flow from operations and unfortunately that's something i don't like to see for, for a software company at least i want them to be positive in cash flow from operations they're also not expected to be profitable anytime soon next the sixth company is going to be elastic and v this is a search company that builds self-managed and has software as a security service offerings for search logging security and analytics use cases after hours it is up seven percent after reporting earnings market cap right now is 11.15 billion i think this is the smallest out of all of them and year to date it is up about 90 percent so again congratulations to all the hold all, all the long-term holders ticker is estc if we take a look at future growth, it is expected to grow 20.2% on average annually for the next three to five years. Another strong growth company. It is not positive in cash flow from operations and it's not expected to be profitable anytime soon. The final company we're going to take a look at. And after this, we're actually going to look at their gross margins, their price to sales margins and their valuations to see which one is worth better. Or, or which one might have better better future growth in the upcoming years so the final company is one that's very popular right now and that's palantir technologies ticker pltr right now sitting at 22 dollars and 51 cents it was down 12 percent 13 percent after hours i think after i think one big firm might have given them a, a new price rating of 20 dollars so they did drop on um, palantir technologies a public american software company that specializes in big data analytics right now they have a market cap of about 39.2 billion dollars after this drop it's probably closer to 35 billion dollars now let's take a look at that future growth future growth and, and we can see the all-time highs for this company was almost 30 dollars so it is down a nice amount from that all-time high it's definitely pulled back a, a nice amount Future growth, Palantir is expected to grow 25.2% on average annually for the next three to five years. It's barely cash flow from it's barely positive from cash flow from operations, but it's it, it's almost there for the upcoming years. It seems to kind of be in in that flat line there, but it is not expected to be profitable anytime soon. Again, we're seeing high growth stocks right now. 
but either none of them, almost none of them, I don't think any of them were positive in cash flow from uh, and positive in earnings. Some of them were positive in cash flow from operations. So next, let's take a look at their at their gross margins. But before we do that, guys, if you are a self-taught investor and want to continue to grow, make sure to join my Patreon. The link should be down below where I am giving amazing value to those that want to continue to learn and become better investors. I have the self-taught investor package where I have my fundamental full courses. I have different items that I will be doing almost on a weekly basis to overall improve those that want to be self-taught investor. And again, this is perfect with the merch I have created. So make sure to check that out. Um, next, also make sure to check out my second channel, Jose Nahara Entrepreneur. If you want to have a free source and try to make money outside the market, that is the perfect channel. All right, here we're having the gross margins for each company. Here we can see on average, most of them are over 50, actually all of them are over 50%. Two of them are around that 80% and that's going to be SPLK and Cscaler. Most of them are over 60%. The slowest is actually Snowflake coming in at almost 50, 55% gross margin. So it is the weakest out of all of them. And this is for their full year of 2019 for so for this is for the full data of last year it was the most recent data of a full year that all these companies had but now let me do one better guys let me show you guys this quick excel sheet that i made that kind of shows you all these companies that we looked at and i uh, we have the stock we have their future growth and actually rank them as well we also have their recent quarter growth we see if they're positive in cash flow from operations. We have their gross margins and rank. And then we have their price to sales ratio for the upcoming two years. Um, so this is for the end of 2021. So it's their forward price to sales ratio. So the first thing we're seeing is recent future growth. The future growth, the one growing the, is that's expected to grow the fastest is going to be Snowflake. This one is expected to grow 45.2% on average for the next three to five years. The slowest is expected to be um, Elastic, which is ESTC ticker, and that one's expected to grow 20.2%. 20.2% is still actually a high growth company, in my opinion. If we take a look at the recent quarter growth, the slowest is Splunk, SPLK. This one actually saw year-to-year -year revenue decline of about 11%, and I do believe that is why the stock price is down right now now um and, and it's down a nice amount this is also the cheapest when we look at price to sales ratio for the upcoming years but we can see why they are the one with the um they are the one with losing recent quarter revenue growth during this whole pandemic thing you should see that revenue growth actually increasing and here we can see spok is actually the highest in gross margin so that's actually pretty impressive the next highest is c scaler um, so next, let's take a look at price to sales ratio. On average, we can see most of them are actually within that high 30s forward price to sales ratio for the end of 2021. That's two years from now. That is actually uh, pretty high right now, uh, in my opinion. But we can see they're all seeing strong future growth. Crowd has a price to sales ratio of 30.8. Another one, we have C Scaler at 28.7. We have Okta at 29.9. And we have Palantir at 31.67. And this is with the current stock price movement right now. We can see those four are very similarly priced. There are three that are off the walls in form of valuation. First, we're going to take a look at SPLK. That one has the lowest. Price to sales valuation is 9.0. Point oh, so it is the cheapest out of all of them. But this and this one also has the highest gross margin. So this has me a little bit confused. The most uh, I do believe the biggest reason is because of this recent quarter growth was actually a negative ten percent compared to the same time last year. But their future growth is still pretty strong at twenty one point oh. But this year to year revenue growth is something I'm not liking. So for now, I'm gonna take this off my watch list. The other one that's super high right now is Snowflake. Snowflake, we can see revenue growth. It grew 118% this quarter compared to the same time last year. So very, very high growth. And it's also the one that's expected to continue to grow at fast levels compared to the rest of them. Um, their price to sales ratio is very high at 74.92. Almost double most of them. 
But look, their revenue growth is also more than double compared to the other ones. So that kind of makes sense. The only thing is their gross margins is the lowest compared to all of them out. The one that really grabbed my attention was going to be this one, Elastic. This one has a price to sales ratio of 16.27, the second cheapest. But it has very high gross margins of 71.3. It also has strong recent quarter to growth, 43.3% compared to the same time last year. And it also has strong future growth. If there's one I'm really, really going to keep an eye out, it's going to be Elastic right now, ticker ESTC. For me, Snowflake might be a little bit too overvalued for my taste right now. SPOK is cheap, but due to that decline in revenue growth, there might be a reason for it. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Like always, make sure to hit the thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. It helps so much with the YouTube channel. And don't forget to check out that Patreon service. Take care, guys. Have a good night and see you next time.